I'm an excellent camera. This is the BMSR R um, test tube. Um, I'll be introducing my facility and um, showing how it will, will it be maintained. Um, this is my gym facility. Um, the pool and the changing room are close next to each other because of the plumbing. I feel it will be good if the changing room and the pool will be close together. Okay. Um, another reason why it's the changing room is close to the pool is because of the um, some people are, are not there to go gym. Some they are there for just for the pool and rehabilitating rehabilitation on the pool. Um, the studio is is next to the pool and the changing room because of the water. Um, due to the um, fire and hazardous, so I I feel the studio is nice next to the um. Okay, so also the, the studio is a, a big area, so I feel as if it's nice if it's at the back so that it does not cluster anything close. So um, the cardio area, cardio, strength and mat area, they, they go together well, so that's why I, I tried and moved them to cl closer together. Um, and then offices and reception is there at the front. So clients, when they enter the um, facility, they start in the reception. And then if they need help in the offices, the office is behind the reception. Okay. Um, also, the mat, strength, and cardio area, um, sometimes they, they are only there to do circuits so it's a bit convenient for them to to have that movement and a good flow okay so these are hygiene considerations um, the first bullet point is all clients should bring their own water bottle and towels why because um, people sweat so it's not hygienic to to wipe your sweat when there's someone else's sweat on the top. Um, clients are advised to wipe the equipment before and after use. Um, continuing from the towel and water bottle, when you sweat, you the 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 the, the, the water from your body will go and um, be on the equipment which is the, the sweat comes out with germs and also some other bacteria. so it's wise if a client or a participant cleans the, the equipment before use or after use um, clients to, should take showers after their workout immediately after the workout um, because uh, okay I feel the the third bullet bullet point is something general because if you don't uh, shower after a session that means you, you you leaving the gym or going to another area with the germs that you got from the gym. I feel it's my the third bullet point is elaborating on that. Paper towel will be um, provided in each area, which is um, going um, to bullet point two, which is the client should clean. So cleaning equipment will be provided for them to clean the area. Okay, so now we're moving on the 
equipments that you would find in the gym. This is a treadmill. The purpose of a treadmill is to simulate um, road running in your comfort in comfort of your homes um, or the gym. And the treadmill also having this, the same or similar effects as when you doing a road running. Um, maintenance, we have um, two types, which is um, cleaning every day, um, ideally, ideally before, um, after peak time, which is after eight, and before peak time in the evening, which is five o'clock. Um, full, full maintenance or full service every month because of the movement of the belt. So, if you you have uh, a treadmill in your gym, it's wise you you do maintenance every month because of the belt and the alignment of the belt. Okay, so why are you doing maintenance is to avoid um, malfunctioning of the equipment and to, to avoid injuries because if you do not well maintain your, your equipment the equipment will be faulty and stop which equals to um, clients becoming injured okay this is a rowing machine the purpose of the rowing machine is to um, burn down um, calories quick um, with uh, mm. the acceptance of gymming or working out the whole body for a, an extended period of time. Maintaining the, the machine also, similar to the treadmill, cleaning it it's every day. Um, after peak hour, AM peak hour, which is 8, and before the, the evening peak time, which is 5, five o'clock. Full on maintenance is three to four months um, because of the, the motor inside the rain machine. Okay, so the purpose of the assault bike is to work the participant's body which resulting in, in an increase in the heart rate. Um, maintenance, cleaning every day, ideally, similar times as the previous ones. Maintenance, full maintenance is, uh, is three months, every three months. Um, because of this machine is complex, so there's many attachments to form this machine so every three months try and fully service the whole machine so that everything is intact and everything is fast to avoid injuries so now moving to the strength training machines which are your machines that build specific places so this one is a lead pull down a lead pull down this machine is a plate, is a plated one. Um, the machine, the machine um, is ideal to train the latinus, latissimus dorsi, which is at the back. Maintenance, also cleaning, similar to the cardio machines, every day, um, between eight in the morning and before five in the evening. Full service every two months ideally because the machine also has screws and um, plates which might injure the person if they are not um, fully serviced okay so this one is an inclined chest um, press which is also plated why? Why it's plated? It's because um, the client will be able 
to um, reduce or increase the weight by themselves. So this machine is ideally to work the pectoral uh, major, the clavicle head, which is the top top um, pectoral pectoralis major muscle. Maintaining clean every day. Um, after peak hour in the morning and before peak time in the evening. Also, full service three months because of the screws. Um, and also, um, every three months, we also look at the um, seatings and the leather. So that's the full service of the uh, machines. Okay, on this machine, this is a leg press. The, I, the purpose of this machine is ideally to train your hamstrings, your quadriceps, your, and your glutes, gluteus muscles. Cleaning is every day, same time, ideally. Um, full service, two months, and Main, the main service of this machine is the safety clips because once they are not um, properly um, maintained they might not, not work and they might injure a client's knee or the leg okay so safety considerations safety equipments your warning signs um, your um, wet floor signs, your um, fire extinguishers, fire holes, first aid boxes, which are ideally okay. Your first aid box in case a client gets injured, um, your fire hose and fire extinguishers in case the area or the gym um, catches fire, um, your emergency exits and signs, your wood signs. So in case there's, there's a, a fire, we, um, we know where to exit safely. Uh, your workflow signs, in case um, the, the maintenance um, um, staff is cleaning the, the floor. So to put signs there to warn the clients to not um, to watch out for wet floors. Your warning signs by the pool just to inform the clients that um, there's a pool nearby. Also the signs by the pool is to inform the clients no diving, no running near the pool. Um, yeah, and then our security um, in each and every area, there will be a CCTV system that will keep watch what's going on that side. Um, in the changing rooms, there will be fitted lockers with um, padlocks that will be um, kept in the reception. So each client who wants a, a locker, they can get the, the, the locks at the reception. 